Tonight, I want to talk about dead weight. Tonight, I want to talk about dead weight. Let go of the dead weight. Let go of the dead weight. You see, when I did the last broadcast, I was talking about people who don't like you, people who hate you, people who don't mean you well, people who don't mean you any good, and people who would find any opportunity to harm you, and so you shouldn't worry yourself. And somebody just asked me a question on text and I thought it would be a blessing to come back and give a feedback on that. The person asked me a question said, so if you find out that somebody is not good for you or you find out that somebody is meaning you no good or somebody is harmful to you, should you walk away from them or should you leave them to stick around and just be careful? That was the question. And it's quite interesting and it's quite dicey. So I thought I'd come back and I'll be able to break this down so it can be a benefit to all of us. When you have people around you, there are certain people that they've been good to you before and suddenly something changed and so they don't happen to be good anymore. Do you walk away from them or do you stay with them? What kind of relationship do you have with people? Covenant relationship, just no more friendship. Whatever relationship you have with somebody, it has its merits. It has its guidelines, it has its rules, it has its ways of operation. But tonight, I want to talk in general, everything in general. When you are in a relationship with somebody, whatever relationship it is, at what point do you say, so long, bye-bye, and walk away? At what point do you walk away without thinking that you haven't stuck to your covenant? At what point do you walk away without thinking that, you know what, you've done the wrong thing? I want to talk about that tonight. Do you have to walk away at all? And at what point do you walk away? Let go of the dead weight. You see, a lot of us are walking around in life with so much dead weight that we carry the weight around. We are heavy. Remember one thing. When you want to go up, the higher you want to go, the more weight you've got to lift off. Imagine carrying bags and suitcases and you want to jump up and you want to go high. You're going to struggle. So that is the same thing, the same principle that applies in life. When you have too many things hanging on you, it is not easy to go up. The reason why a lot of people are stuck where they are is because a lot of people are carrying dead weight. Let me pick on one thing. The reason why you call the person your ex is because they are what it is, your ex. Why are you still carrying them around? Some of you go into a relationship and all you talk about is your ex. And you don't hold me like my ex used to do. You don't hug me like my ex. You don't take me dining and whining like my ex used to do. That's why they are your ex. Let go of the dead weight. They are your dead weight. There are some people on your phone book. Right now I'm talking to you. There are people you have on your phone book that shouldn't be in your phone book. The reason why you keep going back to the old self and going back to the same thing that hurt you is because you've got these same numbers in your phone book. So every time you get the opportunity, you go back to these same people. Let go of the dead weight. Let them go. Dead weight can be anything. Forget about people only. Forget that. In fact, when people come into your life, imagine a bus. You get onto a bus. What happens is when you get to a station, somebody comes off, a destination, another person comes off. There are certain people who are going all the way to the end. So it's okay for them to stay on. But then if you're going to Camberwell and the bus has gone past Camberwell and is going towards Oval and you're still sitting on it, all you become is a nuisance because either you can't sit in your chair or you're standing there trying to talk to the bus driver or you're standing in front of somebody because you want to take the next opportunity to come up. So you become a nuisance. It is the same thing in life. When there are people in your life that should be out and you keep them in your life, all that happens is that they become a nuisance to you. The reason why you're always at loggerheads, you're always arguing, you're always fighting them is because they probably come to their destination, but you want to keep them on. The worst part of it is the people that God has told you to sign out that you're still keeping on. God has told you, sign them out, but you're keeping them on. Why? Because you feel that you're doing them a favor. You feel that if you leave them, something's going to happen to them. You feel that you owe them something. And so listen to me. Let me, let me, let me break this down. The Bible says, a Lord told Saul to take over a certain city. And when you take over the city, destroy everything there is in it. Saul went in there, destroyed the city, but then he brought some of the best things with him. On the day of reckoning, when the, the prophet came to him, all he did was he heard the sound 
of bleating. He heard the sound of animals. He, heard, he asked him, so what is this that you have done? He said, I brought it that I may offer sacrifice unto the Lord. Listen, when God tells you to get somebody out of your life, it doesn't matter how much favor you think you're doing them. It doesn't matter how way you, whatever way you look at it. If he says, let go, let go. A lot of you are struggling because you don't know how to let go. A lot of you are struggling because you are holding on to something that you should let go. I saw a picture recently that blessed me. It's a picture of somebody holding on to a rope. And they are holding on so tight that this rope is cutting their palm and they are still holding on. When God says let go, let go. There are certain people in your life that must go. There are certain people in your life, they must go. You know they don't mean you well. You know they don't mean you good. All they do is talk about you, backbite you, speak behind your back. But when they see you, they smile at you and you keep them around you. Who are you kidding? Listen, my mom used to tell me something when I was a lot younger. He, she, she used to tell me this thing. She says, if the dog is not going to bite you, it will not skin its teeth at you. If the dog is not going to bite you, it's not going to show you its teeth. So I wonder why this person is sitting next to you, always, and then you keep them around. You're going to, you're going to crush. Samson made that same mistake. The Bible says we are surrounded by a great crowd of witnesses. And so for that reason, you need to learn from their mistakes. Samson saw Delilah. Delilah came one time, asked for the secret. He gave her wrong information. The Philistines came. He kept her around. He came, she came again. He gave her wrong information. The Philistines came. He kept her around. If it was me, I'm saying, I would have told her, listen, now that I've seen the Philistines once, twice, I know you mean no evil. But sometimes when the person around you who means you harm is coming from an angle where it is spiritual, your eyes seem as though they are blinded. I want to talk to you tonight. Open your eyes. Open your eyes and let go of the dead weight. When they are around you and they seem like they are friends, back home we have a saying, he said, why are that awful? They stick around you. They behave like lovers. They behave like they love you. They behave like loved ones, but they've got a knife right behind their back waiting to stab you in the back. Listen, when it's time to let go, know how to let go. That guy that used to abuse you, that guy that used to beat you, that guy that used to treat you anyhow, and today they've walked away from your life because they found somebody else, and you've still got their number on speed dial. Come on. Come on. Get out of it. Come on. What are you holding on to? What are you holding on for? What, that one day they're going to come back to you? Second choice, really? Come on. If they're not treating you right, why are you hanging on? You call them, they treat you anyhow. You talk to them, they treat you anyhow. They talk to you anyhow. And then you still come, let go of the dead weight. If they are not the person who's giving you oxygen through these nostrils, let them go. Some of you are holding on to some dead weight because they pay your rent, because they pay your bills. But you know they are no good for you and you're still holding on to the dead weight. When you carry dead weight, it will take you to your grave. Let go of the dead weight. Dead weight, like I said, is not only friends. Sometimes family can be dead weight. Am I saying you should walk away from your family? No. But I'm saying there are certain levels, there are certain ties that at some point in time you've got to let go. Especially when it conflicts with your belief in God. Just because they're family don't mean that if they tell you that you should, you should not worship God, you've got to hold on to that. No. Let go of the dead weight. Am I talking to somebody tonight or this morning, wherever you are? I hope I'm blessing you. Let go of the dead weight. Let go of the dead weight. A lot of us are carrying these things around. It's become a burden. Sometimes we carry dead people around us and, and they become our burden. We can't sleep because of them. We can't rest because of them. We can't smile. You walk away with a, a long face, walking around with a long face because of somebody. They're a dead weight. I read something recently that blessed me. It says, if, if making you happy costs me my happiness, then you're too expensive. I can't afford you. Go away. <laughs> if making you happy costs me my happiness, then by all means, so long, bye-bye. You've got to let go of the dead weight. Don't let them keep you down. They always have a problem. They always want to talk to you about it. And when you advise them, they don't listen. And the same thing comes back to you and it's becoming a burden. And you're the one who's not sleeping about it. Let them go. Let them go. 
You're praying for them and it's not, it's, it's like they're not responding because they know exactly what, let them go. They've tried to hurt you once, they've tried to hurt you twice, you've spoken to them about it and they give you an attitude and you're still holding on. Why? Because they, they give you oxygen. Sorry about the look, but it's sometimes you've got to, you've got to let these things go. Let them go. They owe you nothing. You owe them nothing. Let them go. It's about time you live your life. Listen, because you got somewhere to go, because you're going somewhere up there, because you're going higher, you've got to let go of the dead weight so you can feel lighter. You can feel lighter. You know, like the, the spacecraft, everything. When, when the spacecraft is going up, it takes off with a lot, a load, a load, fuel and everything. It's heavy, but as it's going up and it's burning the fuel, it becomes lighter. It becomes lighter because the higher you go, the lighter you must be. Let me talk to the, the few of you that are here that are going somewhere. The fact that you become famous, the fact that you become a celebrity, the fact that everybody knows you now does not mean everybody should be your friend. The higher you go, the fewer your circle should be. The smaller your circle should be. Everybody has your number. Everybody can call you at any time. You will lose your honor. I'm not saying you should be a show-off. I'm not saying you should, but guard yourself. It's not everybody that is around you that likes you. It's not everybody that is saying, hail him, hail him, that is going to sit back and continue. Some people will say, crucify him very soon. Jesus had the 12. Apart from the 120, he had the 12. But there are certain places when he gets into, he steps into, he will take the three. There are other places he will take just one. Even some places, he will leave all of them and go by himself. Let go of the dead weight. You're scared that you're going to be lonely. You're scared that you're going to feel alone. And you Be alone. I'd rather be alone than carry dead weight. I'd rather be lonely than carry dead weight. Are you hearing me? If you get the opportunity to choose being alone, to carry in dead weight, please choose being alone. Don't carry dead weight around. Don't carry dead weight around. It's not good for your health. It's not good for you. Listen, what... Let me give you a small advice. When the person makes you aware they don't like you, walk away. When people make themselves an enemy to you, walk away. No need to keep them around. No, in fact, I've come to a place, I want to stop this behavior where I don't want to offend people. And because you don't want to offend them, so you keep them around. Oh yeah, let them go. Let them go. I'm beginning to remove some numbers from my phone book because it's just become dead weight. When you're finding a number, you have to scroll all the way through. Meanwhile, these people for the last 10 years, they haven't called you. What have you got the number for? Dead weight must go tonight. For some of you, your dead weight is not falling off, not because you don't want to let go, but it has become an attachment. It has become a tie. You're so used to it. You're so attached to it. You can't go. In fact, you can't let it go. It's become a spiritual thing. You need to pray about it tonight. You need to pray and break off that tie so that dead weight can fall off. Because where you're going is too big for you not to let go of the dead weight. Are you hearing me? You need to let go of the dead weight so you can get to where you need to get to. Let go of the dead weight, the dead weight that takes your time. The TV can become a dead weight. You sit down the whole day and all you do is watch TV. You watch TV from beginning to end. And at that same time, in fact, you could be writing a book. You could be writing a song. You could be reading a book. You could be studying something. In fact, you could be doing the amount of time some of you spend watching TV. You could find a second job and make money. Let go of the dead weight. Some of you, your phone is a dead weight. Your phone is a dead weight. You sit on the phone and you will talk for hours. You will talk for hours. And these are not people you're talking to that are becoming productive in your life, but unproductive talk. That same phone conversation could have been another phone call that was being productive. I'm coming to a place in my life where everything must be productive. If it's a phone call, it must be productive. If it is TV I'm watching, it must be productive. If it is not producing, the by all means it must go. Are you hearing me? I hope I'm being a blessing to you. Let go of the dead weight. I was considering my life in the last year. And yes, God has brought me, Father. Lord is doing great things in my life. But I saw some things that I could have put away. I saw some things that I could have rolled off. I saw some time that I wasted that I could have used wisely. Use your time wisely. The way the years are flying by, you can't afford to be wasting your time with dead weight. 
You can't afford to be wasting your time with dead weight. Trust me, the amount of time you spend on the phone, you need to cut down. It's way too high. You need to cut it. Cut it, cut it. Cut down the amount of time you spend on the phone. Cut down the amount of time you spend around people who are unproductive. Listen to me. From today, even friendship, until you, you, you make up that decision, cut off certain people. When you're making friends, make friends that are beneficial and productive to where you're going in life. Some of you go to uni, you hang around with the wrong people, you finish uni, come out of uni, and you don't know what to do with your life because you didn't create any, any sensible connection, any productive connection. The only friends you have from uni are the friends that were drinking and were going to the club. So if you want a bank account, you don't know which friend to call because you didn't connect to any friend which was in the bank. If you want some medical advice, you can't have a friend that was in Come on! Let go of the dead beat, let go of the dead weight, and pick up friends that are productive. Pick up company that has productive productivity in it. Let go of the dead weight. I'll be going through my phone today. Any number that is not productive to my life, delete. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. You need to you need to narrow your circle so you can be more productive. Look at the tree. When the tree is going big, what it does is it sheds some leaves. Imagine if the tree does not shed leaves, but it was always growing more leaves. There's gonna be trouble. Let go of the dead weight. Ah, so Sammy. Come on, come on. When you go to the gym, one of the things that is 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 bet is is I mean, I don't even know which way to explain. One of the hardest things to do is to be lifting dead weight. And one of the most relieving things is to let go of that dead weight. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. When you're doing your, your, your weight, dead weight, and you're lifting, the one of the things you can't wait to do is to drop that weight. Come on. In the same way, you should have some excitement in your spirit because you're about to drop some... I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. You are about to drop some dead weight after tonight. Can I bless you? Can I prophesy over your life? After tonight, may God grant you the grace to delete those that need to go. They delete those that need to go. Let them go. Let them go. They don't pay for your oxygen. They don't give you oxygen. They, they, don't, they don't hold your nose and gauge and manage how much oxygen goes through your nostrils. You need to let them go. It's about time. They're taking advantage of you and you're keeping them around because they are your only friend. They are the only person. I'd rather you don't call me than be around me and take advantage of me. Some of you that are on here right now and are listening to me, the people you call your best friends or your closest friend are the people that are doing you the most wickedness and you're still keeping them around. Let them go. The Bible says, do not give what is sacred to dogs. Don't give your, your, what is sacred to dogs or pearl to swine. In the same way, anybody that is hanging around you that, that cannot allow you to get closer to God or cannot allow you to pursue your destiny or cannot allow you to pursue better things in life, let them go. They are dead way. They are dogs and they are swine. Excuse my words, but this is in the Bible. It's about time we let certain things go. Call a spade a spade. We, we letting people take advantage of us. They are around us. And when you tell them you want to do something big in life, all they can do is give you, listen, bad energy, stay far away. They are all dead with anybody around you. That speaks negativity when you are thinking of going higher. That wants to bring you down when you want to go up. That wants to tell you you can't do it when you say I can do it. Drop them. Dead weight. Let them go. Let them go. Anybody around you that when you want to pursue high things, they look at them like, oh, all these things, people have tried, it didn't work. Drop them. I've had enough of negative people in my life. All I want now is people who say, yes, you can do it. We are here to support you. Yes, you can do it. We're here to hold you up. I know what I'm doing is hard. Yes, they know you may not be able to finish it, but they want to stand with you and believe that you can do it. You need these kind of people in your life. Sit down for a minute. Take two seconds. Think about the kind of people you have in your life. Half of them are people who don't care about your vision. Try talking to one of them about your vision and they'll let it pass and slip by as though they never heard you say anything. And you call them friends? Dead weight. I need people that will, will be interested in vision. People that are interested to hear what, what you have next. They want to hear. They want to wake up and call you and be like, so have you not got any plans? Have you not thought about anything new? Is there something we can do? You need people who are thinking on that wavelength. If you don't have such people in your life, 